Well, there are uh, two basic parts to a um, dry composting toilet. There's the toilet itself, which uh, we're going to start off with here, and the ventilation system, which I'm going to show you how to do later. Uh, basically, it's just going to be a box with a bucket and a toilet seat on the top, and then also this urine separating piece. Um, I bought this on eBay for $50. And uh, I've just dry fit this. This box is actually sitting to literally like a house of cards. It's just leaning on itself. And here are the frame. So the parts list so far is uh, the top is two pieces. It's going to be hinged. Uh, the big piece is 18 inches deep and 16 inches wide. And you can see that I cut out. Um, with my jigsaw, just a hole. I just kind of traced the outline of this, the toilet seat on there. Uh, the smaller piece, this one here is uh, um, 18 inches, uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, two and a quarter inches deep and 16 inches wide. Okay. The front and the back are the same size. They are 16 inches wide by 18 inches tall. Um, the sides are both the same size, and those are um, also 18 inches tall, and they're 19 and a half inches deep. The framing, I'm using uh, two by threes. You could use two by fours, I guess, or uh, two one uh, two by twos, something like that. Uh, the two long ones are um, 18 inches long, and then the two shorter ones are 16 and a half inches. And this one here is 15 inches. And then as well you can see I have a toilet seat and a bucket. And then two hinges. Okay, another thing um, we're going to use to put it together will be we got some screws. These are long screws that will go through the 2x3. Two by, uh, two by and then these that will attach the OSB to the 2x3 frames. Uh, these could be a little bit longer, I guess, but they'll they'll work. And then also some glue. This is this is good stuff. This Gorilla Glue is actually really strong. Um, you could use white glue. And then I got some caulking in case I need to caulk. And this is uh, latex. This is paintable as opposed to silicon. I'd normally use silicon, um, you know, around a bathtub or something. But the advantage of using this stuff is you can paint it. This OSB stuff is actually pretty ugly. I, I normally don't use it, but. This is, was actually scraps. I had I, I did a concrete form for my pump house, and I had some of this stuff left over. Um, and same with these two by threes. So this is just out of scrap. So I've got um, I don't know these buckets are a couple of dollars, and this toilet seat I think they're around twenty five bucks or so. I this one I had laying around actually already. And then, like I said, that was fifty dollars. So I've got, you know, I've got a under, a little over fifty dollars into this so far. Okay, so let's uh, put it together. Okay, now I've put the uh, the two by threes upright. So the two longer ones are in the front, and the two shorter ones are in the back. And then the reason they're shorter in the back is because this piece. is going to go. This was a 15 inch piece so that's going to go like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is uh, attach the front and then the back. Okay, um, so I, here's the box all put together and this is the back here. Here's the front. So here are the two mistakes I made. First of all I cut this a little bit too long I cut that at 15 inches and what I did wrong I see is I thought these were this OSB was half inch thick but it's actually a little bit it's more like 5 eighths and then the other thing I did uh, it would have been a better idea to paint this before putting it together so I'm going to paint the inside and also uh, not a big deal but um, I'm not sure this is a great choice to use this OSB stuff. I normally don't use this stuff, but I'm going to put something on the outside. I've got this uh, this oak floor tile that I might use if I have enough of it. So there I 
I cut that and put it back there. Oh, the top's going to go on like that. And then this little piece goes back there, see? So I painted the inside. Uh, mistake I made. So, well, first of all, I, I, if I had it to do over again, I would use plywood, not this OSB. I don't like this stuff for this. But, um, also, I should have... Uh, it would have been better if I'd made this a little bit wider so this could clear. Um, now, where I'm, I'm putting this in a spot where I have a really tight space, so I couldn't have... You know, if I had the space, it would have been better, but now I'm going to have to to notch this or something because this is not going to sit well. I, I knew I knew this problem was possible but I thought I don't know I thought I had good karma and it wouldn't be a problem or something. <laughs> so here you can see I notched this uh, out. Maybe you can't see it very well but this is notched so this fits flush. The top will come down flush and I started putting this uh, oak tile that I had came with the house as a skin. So I'm going to be working on that now. So you can see the, the toilet part is basically done. The box uh, this is going to go on there and get bolted in here. So um, I've got this ABS pipe. It's going to go here and I'm going to have just a little little section of regular ABS on the other side, you know, to go through here and uh, I'm going to fasten it. So here's my urine uh, drain. I'm using, uh, this is inch and a half, or yeah, it's inch and a half PVC here and then it reduces down to three quarter inch. And uh, I've laid it out to match the contour and I would have actually preferred it to use a larger like two inch drain pipe. The toilet is going into a school bus and I have a very limited amount of space and so the toilet is no bigger than it can be to fit. And if I don't use smaller pipe, I don't have enough room to put the, the bucket in, etc, etc. Anyway, um, what I wanted to say is, now I dry fit that in there. You can see it's kind of a complicated shape and it's got to be exactly like this and then it's also you can't really see it very well but it's it's also tilted slightly so that it it drains and um, when you have something like this the hard part is to take it apart to glue it and be able to put it back the way it was when you dry fit it um, so the way I deal with that I'll take a marker and mark the way it goes together and then I can take it apart and I know how it went and that way I can put it all back exactly the way it was okay there's what it looks like it comes out the bottom here and uh, comes out the back here and this this piece is threaded. It could be a little bit longer, but I can uh, screw something in here. Uh, quick note: now, if you're doing this at home, with some design notes. First of all, there are quite a few uh, plans on the net of how to build these with exact dimensions. And if you have the space, go ahead and do that. Don't. Don't do it the way I'm doing it because, as as I I think I mentioned, I have a really tight space and I can't. It can't be any bigger than it is, in any direction. Um, I would have preferred to either make it bigger out here and run this up through here, or it would have been nice to make it a little bit wider. Um, so. As you, if you look at these, a lot of what most people do is they attach this part to the lid, and um, I think the reason they do that. Now, if if I had trouble doing that, because if you do it, you have got to make the drain big enough so it can swing up and down. And if you tr try it, you'll see what I mean. It won't clear if it's got a tight fit. 
Um, and, and usually people will put a jar or a jug or something under there to collect the urine. In my case, I'm piping it out the back, so I don't really have a, a reason to attach this to the lid, and it was easier for me to do it here. The trade-off, though, however, is now it's really difficult for me to get the bucket in. Well, not really difficult, but it's, it's difficult. It doesn't fit very well. And so I notched it out here a little bit, and that helped quite a bit. But still, it's, it's a bit of a squeeze um, getting it in and out, but that's probably not a big deal. I don't expect to have to do that more than every couple of months. And um, it's not a... Well, I'll just show, I'll just show you. This looks worse than it is. It's actually not what it looks like. It's filled with concrete. And this is an old one I've just been using to test the clearances. So there, you can see I got it in there with one hand, but uh, it took a little jiggling in and out. And so not really the end of the world, but uh, again, if you have if you have the space, you want to make it bigger than I did. In the next video, I'll show you how I made the ventilation system. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching. There is always waste to get rid of when your engine uses the food you eat for fuel. Good toilet practices means getting rid of the waste at the right times in the right way.